Hey guys, it's your girl Leslie and welcome to my channel. Hey guys, I'm so excited to finally announce that the poll is over, it's finished, it's Terminado. It's done. Um, as you guys know, which I recently posted, um, book one was the most voted out of any other book. Oh, hold on, my candle is a little bit too close to where I don't want it to be. Okay, we good. <laughs> uh, sorry, I had to make sure no fire hazards around here. Um, it was probably, it was, uh, the most voted, um, book for our fanfic for me to read so guess what today's video we're gonna be reading that fanfic so yeah i'm so happy that we got finally a toby book to read and um there is gonna be a, probably a lot of mix up with stories since we're reading like a lot of stories people so mixing them up and all that is gonna be a little hard for me i'm sorry so if these stories takes a little bit to kind of go through I'm so sorry about that because, you know, we're reading a lot of stories. Like, we're reading Carnage, we're reading um, Ben X Reader, we're reading um, FNAF Story, we're reading Carnage, and we're reading this. So, this is like five stories all at the same time. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, ah! I'm working, people, I'm working. But, it's okay. <laughs> it's alright, y'all. It's alright. And then including that, I'm going to be trying to read a little bit Christmassy for, you know, at least a couple of videos that are at least a little Christmassy or doing stuff that are at least a little Christmassy. So we'll see where we can go with that. Um, but for now, y'all, let's get straight into the story. All right, y'all, we is in chapter one. And before I forget... Uh, the book's link will be down in the description down below, y'all. And, <laughs> yeah, that's all I got to remind myself and to everyone, all right? But anyways, for that, do. <laughs> chapter one. Wyatt, open the door. You woke up from your sleep with a startle. You stood up in shock, but you moved too quick, causing you to fall to the floor with a thud. <laughs> that happened to me at night. That was, whew, that was terrifying. For a minute, I was flying, but then I thought I was dying. <laughs> anyway, groaning, you stand up to your feet, rubbing the back of your head. Your parents had recently passed away, and for some reason, you didn't feel comfortable sleeping upstairs alone. So you decided to sleep downstairs on the sofa for a while. All, dis <laughs> all disoriented, you wait to see if the banging on your door would happen again. Just in case it was your imagination. Why didn't open up? It's me, Lyric. Lyric? You jumped up once more after hearing the loud yelling, followed by a banging on, the front, on your front door. I'm coming, I'm coming. You mumble, st st staggering? Okay, staggering. Sleep, sleep is, oh my god, my language, jeez. Staggering sleepily over to the door, reaching for the handle to open it. Once you do, a familiar face with a large smile bounces to greet you. Why in? She squeals, pouncing on you for a warm hug. She always had been your best friend, even when you were little. Her real name is actually Lyceri Ly Lyceria, <laughs> but she preferred to call herself and have others call her Lyric. You never really could understand why. Lyricia <laughs> had always been the pretty girl. She was popular in school and had a lot of attention from boys. You were worried sometimes that she may leave you to be with others, but she never did. She always stayed with you through thick and thin, like a true friend. Mm -hmm. She has beautiful emerald eyes with perfect white teeth and long black hair. She was also quite the tall person, but you were slightly taller. You embrace her back, but stiffen a little when you see someone else at your door with her. She too had black hair, but hers was short and her eyes were brown. She stood watching a phone while she annoyingly chewed gum with her mouth open. 
blowing large bubbles until they popped, only for her to suck it back into her mouth and continue chewing. Ugh. It made you cringe a little inside. Oh, Wyan, this is Susu, but just call her Sue. Sue, you also <laughs> She says, letting go of you and tapping Sue on the shoulder to get her attention away from her phone. Sue, this is Wyatt. Lysira taps her shoulder again, gesturing towards you. Sue lifts her head with an expression of a moody child, giving you a quick glance up and down before returning to her phone. Hi, Sue says bluntly, not giving it much thought. Wyatt and I have been best friends pretty much all our lives. Isn't that right, Wyatt? You nod in reply causing a huge, toothy smile to form on Lysira's, li- Lysira's face. But it soon shrinks after hearing Sue's uninterested response. Oh, how cute. Good for you, I guess. She shrugs, her eyes glued to- on her phone. Sue angered you highly as she came off as a rude type and was not good at making the first impression. A few seconds pass and you- when you realize where you were all standing. Ah, sorry, I forgot. Please come in, you say, turning to the side and allowing the two girls to enter your house. Lysira thanked you cheerfully, but Sue didn't even peep a word. How are you holding up, you know, about your... Uh, I'm coping, I guess. Thank you for asking, Lyric. You interrupt her. It was nice of her to ask, but it was still a touchy subject, and you didn't want to bring it up too much. And hearing the whole thing being said out loud just hurts too much at the moment. What did I miss? Sue mumbles. Her eyes still on her phone screen. Not only was she being rude, but she was also being very nosy into personal business. Um, I'd rather not talk about it. It's still a weak topic to talk about for me. You reply, turning and making your way to the kitchen to make some drinks for both of them. Weak topic, my ass. You stop and turn to face the pair with a rather annoyed and questionable expression. Sorry, what did you just say? Lysira looked at you confused, and Sue even looks up from her. Oh my God! <laughs> looks up from her phone to stare at you. Also, neither of us said anything. Yn, what? Huh? What? Neither of us said anything. Yn, Lysira states, turning to face Sue, then looking back over to you. I could have sworn Sue said something. It sounded like you. Sue shakes her head, and so does Lysira. Oh, am I hearing someone can read minds? <laughs> that would kind of suck, though. <laughs> Depends, really. Like, if you were, like, an assassin, maybe. I'd be super smart. But if you're, like, a normal person, eh, it wouldn't work too well. You sigh and continue back to the kitchen, opening the cupboard to take out some mugs. What would you both like to drink? You ask, waiting for the reply. A few seconds went by as they thought over what they wanted until they answered. I'll have cola, Lysira says cheerfully, smiling over at you. You nod and turn to Sue. What would you like? What do you have? Um, I haven't been shopping for a few days to get juice, so the only options are cola, milk, or water. Cola, then. You nod and begin to pour their drinks. It made it easier for you that you wanted all the same thing, as it kind of saved time. Cold milk, and water? Is that all she has? Pretty pathetic that she doesn't even... Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> like I'm, I'm like I keep looking down and I'm like, what the hell? Did she read minds? That'd be kind of fucked up. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Cola mic- milk and water, is that all she has? Pretty pathetic that she can't even leave her own house. Slamming the cola bottle down, you turn to face the two girls once again with an angry expression, causing them both to jump. Wyan, something's wrong? Lysira asks, walking over to you, placing her hand on her on her elbow. On your elbow, excuse me. You check over Lysira's shoulder to see Sue was look if see if Sue was looking, which she wasn't. I'm sure I keep hearing Sue say things that aren't very nice. It's definitely her voice. Sue hasn't said anything and neither have I. It all was quiet, then you suddenly slammed the bottle down. You looked at your friend confused. Why are you, were you hearing someone, someone, a voice sounding like Sue, but no one else could hear? Are you sure? Yes, Wyan, I'm sure. That's kind of fucking scary. Okay. An hour or so passed, and all the three of you sat on the sofa watching TV, chattering here and there. 
Oh, Wyatt, I forgot to ask. For my birthday this week, we're going to camp out in the forest. Are you coming? Are you up for coming? Lacey asked, sounding pretty excited. Uh, I don't have a tent, though. None of us do. We're just going to take the sleeping bags and... I have a spare if you want to use. Use it. She, st- <laughs> she stood up to her feet and shuffled around to sit next to you, nudging you with her arm. It'll be fun. Okay, okay, sure. I'll come. Like... Like Sue will come, but girl. <laughs> okay, chapter two. Reader's point of view. All day, I've been pacing around the house thinking with, about whether or not I should go to the party tonight. It's in the woods. Do I re- do I want really want to possibly get drunk in the woods at night? I thought to myself as I paced into my room, opening my wardrobe. What should I even wear? Is it casual? Smart casual? Full-blown piss-up nights out clothes? What? <laughs> after, annoyingly, after an annoyingly long time, I decided to ring up Lysira and ask what I should wear tonight. Hello, Lyric. It's YN. I was wondering if you, what were you going to wear tonight and what do you think I should wear? Why don't you wear what I'm wearing? A short dress. A short dress? Won't we get cold? No, we won't. Check the weather. It's meant to be hot tonight. Oh, okay. I didn't even think I even have a short dress. Yeah, you do. Remember that... I don't even know what that means. (laughs) Core memory, I don't know. One I gave you for your birthday? Oh, yeah, I see it. Should I wear that? Hell yeah, it'll look good on you. Anyway, I have to go and prepare for tonight. See ya! Before I even had the chance to say goodbye, Lysira hung up the phone. A short dress, huh? Mm. Okay. Without a second thought to change my mind, I pulled out the dress and began to get ready for tonight. I had a few hours, but with everything to prepare. It would soon come quick. Hee hee hee. Finally ready, I opened my front door and stepped out of my house and closed it behind me. Lysira had texted me where the party was, so following her description of go left at this post sign, I shouldn't get lost. I'm so gonna get lost. But one thing for certain that she was right about, it wasn't, it definitely wasn't cold. Which meant my walk was a nice one. Although, on my travel, I did get a few stra- uh, excuse me, a strange feeling that I was being watched, but I blew that feeling off as I was just paranoid that it was late at night. It's 11 p.m. I should be lazing around in bed, not going to an outside party in the middle of the forest. Mm. It didn't take me long to reach the party, but as soon as I arrived, I instantly regret it. There were lights, loud music, and lots of people who I didn't even know. There were people who were already drunk and throwing up. I just wanted to turn and run as soon as possible. <laughs> but as, as soon but as soon as the idea popped into my head, Lysira came running to me. Why, Anne, you finally are here! She cheered, hugging me tightly, almost squeezing every last ounce of air out of my body. Lyric, Le- who are all these people? I asked rather loudly as I could barely hear myself over the loud music, so I doubt she could hear me. Oh, um, Sue said she wanted to invite some people. How many uh, people did you invite, Lyric? Um, two. Which two? There was a pause as Lysira looked around at all the people dancing and being stupid before turning back to you with a re- regretting expression. You and Sue. I was shocked. There must be at least 50 or even 60 people here, and Sue invited every single one of them. How many did you say she could invite, Lyric? Um, I said she could could invite one or two yes she invited 50 i didn't want to be rude and say no they were her friends i sighed and placed my hand on lysira's shoulder looking around to see if i could spot sue so i could talk to her about inviting too many finally i spot her standing by a table holding a bunch of punch (coughs) punch holding a bunch of a bowl of (laughs) a bunch of punch (laughs) holding a bowl of punch okay wait here I typed Lysira as I had... Wait, what? <laughs> I said Lysira as I head over to Sue. 
For once, her eyes wasn't glued to the, on the phone, but instead, her mouth was glued around a cup filled with alcohol. But she definitely puts it, but <laughs> definitely, but finally she puts it down when she spots me walking towards her. Oh God, not this loser. Huh? I shake off the weird voice I keep hearing and stand by Sue's side as she glares at me through her hair bangs. Sue, why did you invite so many people when Lyric said you could only bring one or two? I ask in the nicest way possible. But I can, she glares at me as if I just killed her cat. Don't talk to me like you know me. You don't know anything. I can invite who I want. Who cares what she says? And her name is Lysira. What? I was stunned by her rude reply. My hunch about her not being a very nice person was seemingly true. I'm just asking as a friend, and I know what her name is, but she likes to be called Lyric. So I'm respecting that and calling her by what she wants. You don't respect her. You're only doing what she wants because you know that she likes me more than you, and that if you annoy her, she'll dump you and I'll be her new best friend. Sue words angered me like she was acting as if she was acting like a child and not thinking about what she was saying. What are you talking about? I think you're drunk and you might want to stop with the alcohol. I reach to take the cup, but she smacks away my hand harshly. Don't touch me, she yells, drawing the attention of everyone at the party. Some noisy kid even stopped the music so he could listen. Don't ever fucking touch me again, she spat, shoving her hands into her, my shoulders, causing me to tumble back. Snickers here and there could be heard. N name sue what's going on cried a voice lacira's voice i asked sue why she was she, why she went against what you asked and then she turned on me she's lying lacira i have a nice calm i was having a nice calm drink but then your lovely friend william came up to me and tried to pick a fight not only did sue did sue lie <laughs> excuse me what <laughs> i'm sorry i can't, I can't. <laughs> okay I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not only was Sue rude as hell, but she was also a fucking cheating ass liar. <laughs> I, and I hope to God like Sarah wouldn't believe her. What? No, I didn't. You know I didn't. I came to ask why you, she, why you invited so many. She came up to me, right? Tried to come on to me and grub my breast. When I told her no, she got angry and then I had to tell her to stop. Gasping whispers could be heard from every single angle of the forest. Everyone here was believing Sue's story over mine. Even if they didn't believe it, they would pretend as if they were Sue's friend. Lysira stared at us both in shock, not sure what to believe. I didn't try and grope you. I would never do such a thing. I tried to take your bra, bra off. You told me that you wanted to take my bra off and do things with me. What? No, I didn't. I tried to take your drink as you were drunk. Clearly, I'm not drunk. You are making excuses so you don't look bad in front of everyone. I had no idea what to do. Shit, I'd be shitting bricks, bro. Sue came up, was coming up with an idea after an idea on how to make me look bad, and everyone was believing her. I had no idea what to say in my defense, as whatever I said, she would just make it sound worse. But Sue walked, walked up to both of us and looked us dead in the eye, trying to figure out which story was true. Lara, you gotta believe me. I would never do that. Don't listen to her, Lysira. Lysira, she tried to bring me in. God, her voice is annoying. She didn't get a chance to finish her sentence as, as a voice and appeared in my head once again. But this voice didn't sound like Sue. We watched as Sue freeze. Her face scrunched up and her back arched. Blood started to dribble out of her mouth as she gargles and coughs, falling to the floor and landing on her stomach. Screams filled the forest as a hatchet or some type of axe protrudes out of Sue's back. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I be running so fast, bro. I be, I'm, <laughs> I be running so damn fast. <laughs> she, I kind of, she deserves that though, bro. Mm -mm. She deserved that. She a bitch. Oh my gosh. No, excuse my lame woman. <laughs> anyway. There we go. Excuse me. Everyone scram. Everyone scrambles to make a run for it, but Lyceria and I were frozen on the spot. We couldn't move. I shakily turned my head to see Lyceria, Lysira, Lysisha, <laughs> to find that she had blood splatters on her face. It must have been from when Sue coughed and gargled. Lyric? I stutter in fear, reaching out to hold her arm, but before I could, 
Her figure falls to the floor as she lays unconscious. She fainted. I crouched down and tried my best to lift up her body. Holding under holding underneath her arm what? holding her underneath my arms as I lift up her torso. <laughs> Excuse me my language. She was heavier than she looked. I tried to drag her, but I froze when I heard footsteps in front of me walk out from the trees. I shakily raised my head to see a figure with a hoodie, wearing what seemed like steampunk goggles and a mouth guard. It had brown hair poking out from under the hood. I couldn't see any features to tell its gender. All I could see was dried blood on its shirt. It was definitely dry, which meant it wasn't Sue's. The figure walked over to Sue's body and yanks the hatchet out of her spine, causing a cring a cringing <laughs> a cringing sound sound of ripping flesh to pierce my eardrums. What I can't I can't do the ticks, people. I'm not gonna do the ticks. So one we don't disrespect people who actually do have ticks. We're just gonna read like normal person. But you can pretend that I'm doing it like if if if, if, if he was reading it. Um but just gonna say that now, but you know. <laughs> okay. What an annoying girl. It stammered and flinched. It appeared that the murderer had a stutter and suffered with ticks. It swiped the blood onto its shirt to clean it. Somehow I felt it hadn't seen me in Lysira, so I slowly started to back away, pulling her with me. However, as I step back, I stand on a twig which irritatingly snaps loudly. Wow, what 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 a what a thing that happens on almost every single thing when that gets you caught. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, causing the figure to turn and look at me. Oh fuck. It stands there for a while as it stares at me creepily, its head tilted to the side. She's still standing there like an idiot holding her friend's unconscious body? What a joke. A voice rings through my skull, causing me to realize what I was doing. I looked down to see I see her, to see I was still crouched, crouched, <laughs> holding onto the Syria. In a panic, I drop her and take a few steps back. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> like she's like, hold on. oh shit. Oh wait, I forgot my friend. Hold on. <laughs> like hold on, stop right there. We gotta pause. Okay, I got her. Now let's do this. <laughs> oh my god. Said. I dropped her. I dropped her and took a few steps back. Then I realized what I had done, so I rushed back to her and lift up her toes again. What an idiot, trying to save her friend and save herself. I gripped my teeth to the voice and annoyingly replied to it. However, I, re- I accidentally replied out loud, I'm not an idiot. I realizing what I'd done, I dropped Lysira. I, Lysiria. Oh, you brought I feel bad for Lysiria. Damn, her back must be broken. I, I dropped Lysira and covered my mouth with my hands. Looking over to the figure to see its entire body facing me, it quickly began to walk t- towards me, so I backed away quickly. I'm sorry, y'all, I got it. <laughs> I accidentally scrolled past this. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let me finish the last part. Okay. Don't move. It demands angrily, causing me to freeze like a coward, slamming my eyes shut as I wait for my end. This girl is so damn dumb. I swear, let me do this. Okay, but nothing happened. I slowly peeled my eyes open to see the killer standing directly in front of me. I screamed, but its hand, which seemed to be gloved, covered my mouth. Shh. My tears begin to fill my eyes as I worry that this might be my last day on earth. Well, it's kind of your dumbass fault for not fucking running whenever you have the chance, but your dumbass just standing there like a damn idiot. <laughs> Why does the, why does most of these have to be the idiots? <laughs> but instead, I was left confused by what it asked me. What, what did you just say? Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. But that's all I mean. I'm sorry. I had I'm I'm having a bit of anger issues because um, y'all can understand um, me just trying to not scream at my phone right now reading this um. So you're telling me that this girl realized what this guy was saying in his house, whatever, dropped her friend, backed away, then was like, oh shit, went back, picked up her friend, backed away. (laughs) Then whenever she was like, I'm not an idiot, she dropped her friend yet again. And as soon as he started walking towards her, she went backwards and just stopped whenever he said, don't move. Like, obviously, 
you're gonna have to fucking move to survive like and then she's like oh i'm afraid that this might be your last day on earth it better be your last day on earth because it's not i'm gonna make your last day on earth girl i swear i swear some people be these fan fans sometimes be testing my patience and i don't got a lot of patience my goodness oh my god before i continue ranting back to me Oh, my lord. I've never been so mad over a book for the first time me reading it. My, my lord. <laughs> y'all can't understand my anger, right? Like, y'all have to understand the anger here. Because I'm not mad that y'all picked the story. Though. Let's get that clear. But um, I'm mad that that story has such a cliche thing like that. Like, sometimes I wish that the people would be smarter you know like it's not that hard you dropped your friend like more than three times that girl probably was like this like all over the ground like her arms like this her body contorted bro contorted when she wakes up she's gonna have such a bad back when she wakes up and i feel bad for her oh my lord like i don't understand i don't understand I do not understand my guy. Like, it's just crazy, okay? I just, I don't understand. <laughs> I'm like, why? Why is it gonna be so damn cliche? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I don't have much to say because if I continue recording this, I'm gonna continue ranting. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more amazing videos, guys. Um, sorry I was laughing through the whole thing. Kind of made me laugh at the beginning, but it got me really fucking annoyed. Like, I wanted to grip her neck and just go like this. Girl, stop being stupid. Oh, my God. Anger. Anger is all I feel right now. Powering through my veins. Frequency very high right now. So, yeah, I'm quite annoyed at what she did. That was super, super cliche. Um, but anyways. I got to go for now, y'all. Oof, I gotta cool down. Okay. Bye in peace. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna give you a point. No. Bye, bye in peace. <laughs> what the fuck?